Yeah, that's six cam. T fifty alone, huh? Like, and that's just to operate the machine? Does that doesn't include any detergent or anything? You wish that Mozu was as good as Donald, but Mozu is better than Donald. Maybe she's not quite as durable, but she has the offensive power. And in Conquest, she has a access to a class that no one other than Corrin will. You have your own detergent. Yeah, so it's just 250 to operate the laundry, laundry machine. Seems a little steep. Alright, let's still check. Yeah, no one's on. Yeah, it's kind of late, so. We will arcade one it up. That's for the fun reading. Your version of Mozi is incapable of snowballing. Every time I tried to do the super input, she was roping me. <laughs> Thank you. 
That rope has- The anti-air rope is such a weird hitbox. Cause it warps me to the top of the screen so I can get grabbed. <laughs> Man, Arizona is going mega fun reading tonight. What? I was walking well. Yeah, Leander is a versatile character. She's got some zoning, but... She's actually got some decent rush down too. Mostly the issue is that the AI keeps having frame perfect responses to my uh, inputs. Like getting grabbed out of a jab. <laughs> Who would actually do that in a real play?
And it's not helping that I'm messing up my combos. Victory through chip damage. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sheep. And yes, she is she's not very happy about fighting. She was uh kind of strong armed by her fellows into being their champion. <laughs> as weird as that might sound. Not sure why I ended up teleporting right there. I was going for a fireball. <laughs> Thank you.
Now Velvet is a true zoning character in this game. But the AI doesn't really utilize her very well. You guys want to see how uh, a really brutal belly can be. I'll see if one night I can catch a foreign while he's on and challenge him. He'll utterly annihilate me. Paprika? 
Yeah, she is designed to be a crazy adorable alpaca. Her realm of moveset is also defined as as weird as possible. <laughs> Well, I'm surprised I didn't accidentally eat the apple off that jab. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it knits sweaters for me as an attack. Using her own wool at that. Alright, time for the real queen of uh, fun raiding. Yeah. See how she flies around? When she's in flight mode, she's not supposed to be able to block. Um, you can flight cancel, but it's supposed to be really tricky to do, and the AI just does it like it's nothing. So there's literally no downside to flight for the AI because it will still block stuff, including anti-airs. Well, she's only half dragon. She's a Logma, which is a, a, a dragon horse. And her, her name is literally Chinese for Skyfire. <laughs> the legendary doors, yes. <laughs> Although in the mythology of the game, the 
the Lungma is uh, not quite that rare. <laughs> there are many of her kind, but she is their champion. The thing is, hey, is how it's how easy it is to accidentally do the launcher instead of uh, doing a fireball when things get frantic. That normally shouldn't have worked. The AI let its guard down for no reason. <laughs> Alright, enemy oleanders are almost as bad as Tian was for uh, input reading. Although she's not responding, she usually responds to jumps with her standing C, but she's not doing it. It's basically my jumping towards, or hopping towards her is trying to they put that out, out there it goes. So that I can push ball again. <laughs> She's being unusually passive to me. I mean, she's still going berserk when she feels like it, but normally she's just full on block everything, respond to letting my guard down with nothing but standing C. <laughs> ah, now she's good.
<laughs> that was a failed push block that ended up being a throw, I guess. <laughs> She's deciding to just not not be hittable, period. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually mean to do those hits in the middle there, though. I was just trying to do the <laughs> the fell spark link into the second the second uh, super hit again. <laughs> Slam instead of a second regular hit. Snake's supposed to be a center here, but it can't add the can't add some the uh, uh spark spam.
Uh -oh. <laughs> I actually decided to close in for once. It did decide to just chain grab me, which is something the bears and the cougars can do. <laughs> Yes, I got <laughs> Wow. I think that was the first time I've ever gone through the final stage in the first try. Looks like I finished just in time, too. <laughs> Alright, so... Once again, I guess that was, uh, arcade mode. Unfortunately, without, uh, people on the Pixel server, there's, uh, not a ton else to do. Because the salt mines require at least two people in the lobby to actually get the tokens to spawn to actually go into the dungeon. And then obviously you can't PvP by yourself. There is training mode, which has a whole bunch of cool dead ends and uh, options and stuff, but uh, it's not something that is especially conducive to uh, to filling more than like maybe five minutes of a stream. <laughs> Anyway, so that's going to be it for me for tonight. Uh, for, unfortunately, I'm going to take Quest and go quite as well as I'd hoped, but at least it didn't go as catastrophically as some of those other sessions over the last month and a bit. It was definitely a more reasonable finish, even if, uh, even if it ultimately ended in failure. So I will be back on Sunday at uh, 7 p.m. Pacific for some more Sacred Stones. We'll be continuing with uh, Erica's route, seeing where that takes us. And Tuesday, um, we're going to be doing filler stuff because unfortunately I'm on call and uh, that's not really conducive to doing something that requires, well, I mean, swinging in five probably requires the least comp, uh, I don't know where I was going with that, the least focus out of most of the stuff I do in the week, but even then, really sucks to have, like, a story sequence interrupted by a call. So, uh, the Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday following um, which would be, I guess I should just give dates, it's probably easier that way. So, it's, uh, October the 3rd, at 7 p.m. Pacific, or 9 p.m. Pacific, uh, October the 6th at 7 p.m. Pacific, and October the 8th at 7 p.m. Pacific. Those are all gonna be 
filler games, which are to be determined. Um, I've got a few things I'm thinking about resuming that kind of got showed off during the last, last uh, set of on-call. Um, of course, we can always do stuff like more stuff like uh, fan heads. If I did earlier in the evening, we might actually catch some people for some PvP. But uh, I think we'll be doing that a little bit kind of on the fly. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for uh, Mystery Games throughout the upcoming week. <laughs> So thanks for watching everyone, hope to see you Sunday and have yourselves a good night.